Hi, this is Wukash from the Blender Smoothie channel. I'm coming back to you today after a long break with something really great. What you just saw is an example of how ControlNet, an add-on to Stable Diffusion, allows us to have various ways of controlling the images generated by AI. Today, I want to focus on the Open Pose model, which allows us to position the generated characters using an armature. I will show you how to do it on the example of a photo, a rigging blender and even from recorded video. Let's get started! First, I will show you how you can generate such images for free online if you don't have a powerful graphic card. So go to the control net space on a Hugging Face website and as usual all links are in the description under the video. So here go to the Pose tab and drag and drop your image here. Put the prompt and click Run. Now it will estimate the pose using this image and generate image uh, using Stable Diffusion in the same pose. So here is the estimated pose and here is the warrior. As you can see it holds uh, some kind of a weapon. Uh, that's, that's quite nice. And if you want to pose the image uh, by hand you can also go here and open the pose maker. Here is the space for the pose maker and you can just drag and drop every bone like this for example <laughs> uh, and then click save it will save your image so drag and drop the pose here and you have to select this checkbox is pose image now I will run it once again and we will see what we, it will generate. And here we have an image generated according to our prompt. If you want to do the same thing with a video, go to the ControlNet video space and here just drag and drop your video. I will put a prompt, this time it will be Anime Girl and it can generate only a 5 seconds of your video uh, because it uses servers of a uh, hacking face and of course you have to wait for a longer period of time. In the meantime I will show you how you can do the same on your own PC, on your own graphic card if you are lucky enough to have an NVIDIA RTX. I assume you already have Automatic 111 GUI for Stable Diffusion installed and running. So we have to go to the Extensions tab and install this extension. This is the GitHub page for this, so just copy the link and go to the Install from URL, paste that link and click Installed. If it will install successfully, then go to the Installed tab and click Apply and re Restart UI. If everything works great, uh, then you will have this ControlNet tab here. The next thing you have to do is to download the model. Uh, here is the link for pre-trained models. So download the Control SD15 open pose uh, model and if you have that file already downloaded then go to the folder where you have uh, Stable Diffusion Web UI installed go to the extensions Stable Diffusion Web UI control net and models directory and copy and paste that model here so if we go back to our Stable Diffusion Web UI, you have to enable the ControlNet and if we refresh 
using that button our model list you will see control sd15 open pose here and we also will use an open pose uh, preprocessor if you have an pose as an input you don't have to use a preprocessor it is used uh, only when you put an image of yourself here so I will do that I will take that image this is a frame from my video open pose is enabled and selected here put a prompt on the description here and wait for it to generate okay <laughs> and as you can see this is very <laughs> strange shrek with <laughs> grassy clothes <laughs> but it's in the almost the same pose as me on that picture so it works but what if we want to create a video instead of an image? So the first thing is to create an image using a stable seed. For example, I will put one, two, three here and the stable seed will generate the same image every time we generate it. So this is <laughs> very strange, but okay, I will, I will take that and I will send it to image to image so we are on that tab here and this is very important I will use the same seed so now we have a control net here too I will enable it and use a control as the 15 open pose so right now you have to do one more thing go to the settings and go to the control net settings and make sure you have this checkbox selected allow other script to control this extension because we have here script tab and control net m to m script so i will drag and drop my video here set duration to 10 and right now we are ready to click generate and wait for it to generate the frames uh, of your image as you can see it really is using my pose so uh, the result will be saved on the output folder so I will click here to open that folder and here is with today date uh, as you can see it should and it is saving the, all the images in that folder. To merge all the frames into one movie, I will use free and open source software called KDN Live. So right click here, select add image sequence, I will call it Shrek, and here you have to select the folder when you have all the frames generated so in that stable diffusion web ui folder you have an outputs image to image images and today date so make sure that frame duration is set to one frame and click ok then drag and drop uh, this to the timeline and click play so here is our image sequence as a movie. To export it, click project, render, select the output file, select mp4 and click render to file. That's it. But if you want to use the music from your original file, just drag and drop your file here and as you can see uh, this creates two tracks so I will right click on the tracks, click ungroup clip, then I will delete the video because I don't need it and change the duration of the audio to be the same as my images and 
it's synchronized with an audio. You can also experiment with the denoising strength of an image to image and also the weight of the open pose uh, control net extension depending on the settings. If you set the denoising strength uh, very low, the image will be very very similar to the original image and if you set the denoising strength to 1, it will ignore the original image. And as uh, the same thing with the weight, the more weight you will set, the more important the pose will be in the final image. Meanwhile, the ControlNet video has finished rendering our video with an anime girl. So let's have a look. Okay, it's not very stable, but it really works. And here is the our pre-processed video input. It's really nice with that pose estimation. So you can just download both the preprocessor result and the final result. If you remember, at the beginning I promised one more thing. Posing using Blender. This is possible thanks to the plugin and trick prepared by ToyXYZ user. And it's all for free! The Blender and AI community are amazing. So copy the link from the description. Here is the open post for a Blender website. And you can name a fair price. You can also download it for free. And then if you'd like it, uh, purchase it again. It's really great work. As you can see, uh, these are some examples. And even uh, face posing using an adult tool, Kenny. And here are some samples <laughs> with closing eyes. But uh, I won't dive into all those uh, things today because they are described here very well so you can take your time for doing so but now uh, you can download the plugin so just download the open pose bone version 5 open blender then go to the edit preferences and click install select the rig tools plugin and click install add-on then Enable it and open the another file from the zip, which is open post bones. I will ch uh, change the viewport shading to material and disable the Kenny, because I want to use only the open pose. So here is our rig. You can select pose mode and then select and modify our rig. For example, I will, this is reverse kinematics, so, okay, this is strange pose, but okay, it will do. And I will render it pressing F12, then go to the combined layer and save that image, image save as my P1 pose. And then I can use that pose uh, both in the hugging face space uh, and on my uh, local automatic 111 stable diffusion installation. You can also uh, create and render the whole animation and use it uh, the same way I have shown you before. The one thing you have to remember when you are using the armature created in Blender is to not use the preprocessor. It's already in the open pose format, so you can just generate your image.
I encourage you to try other control net models as well and experiment with the parameters. We live in a time when one person is able to create in one day animation that would take a month to draw them frame by frame. I hope you liked this uh, tutorial and if you want to receive notifications about my next video uh, on this topic, click like and subscribe with a bell. Thank you for watching. Bye.